Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm back into a run I started yesterday. Um, let me just review where we're at since I uh, do not clearly remember. Um, okay, yeah, we had a Shield of Thorns, some cool stuff on Evelyn, got a nice Divination Orb, got the Tempest, which we were looking for. Okay, things are looking pretty good. Um, the sh items here are not great. Um, so I'm going to do a reroll. We have a quite a bit of gold, and so doing a reroll here I think is fine. Um, maybe we find something cool, maybe not. Um, from these, so I don't mind stimulant pills normally. It is very expensive, though. But giving an extra evasion on Ballad of Evasion is pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth a thousand gold, though. Um, hmm. Outside of that, I mean, there's a steel rod, but the steel rod really isn't great since we're gonna replace it in this act anyway. Um, we're getting, we're gonna go through the Spider Queen layer and get the eye, uh, the Spider Queen eye for Nesglex. So. Um, so getting him an accessory slot uh, isn't, isn't super great right now. None of these other ones are all that good. Um, this, uh, on tanks is never very good. You just add the one sanctify and immediately take it off. So <laughs> it's not, not all that good. Um, I could just grab a Sharpie. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Um. I think that's going to be okay. Um, and then let's uh, take a look at the decks. So, um, one thing I 100% want to do is um, not, not remove. I want to upgrade both these cold snaps. They're so much better bringing back two. Um, it just like lets you, like being, being able to bring back a Frost Nova and a Shatter is just so nice. Um, so I'm going to upgrade both of these. Um, and then let's swap this other Frost Nova to the three cost version. Um, that's definitely going to be better. Um, and then I think... Um, man, Flash Freeze is quite good, but I don't think I'm going to spend that much right now. I think once we get to Act 4, there's a good chance I add this to my deck. Um, it's incredibly valuable um, for uh, certain fights, so especially in Act 4. Um, so right now I'm not going to remove it, but I think I, I may in the future. Or I may, I, I'm not going to add it, but I may in the future. Um, I'm going to remove these Elemental Wards. Um, just to take the deck count down a little bit. Remove Curse Exhaustion. Um, I think the, hmm, I think I take out an Ice Lance, maybe I take an, uh, out an Icicle, and then, I don't know, maybe this is okay, as is, um, 210 to make this start in the hand I don't think is quite worth it. Um, playing 7 burn. Eh, it's a 90 cost upgrade though. Okay. So, looking at Andrin's deck, I think we definitely want to upgrade these Hunter's Marks to the zero cost ones. And then we can swap this upgrade, since we just want the extra mark on it. I don't think having it in his opening hand is super important. Um, it might be, it's a, it's maybe a little bit better once he gets his um, plus three mark at the end. I may, oh, maybe I will go sh range attacks, give sharp. I don't know, though, that's kind of meh. And the mark for death is amazing, so. I don't know, we'll see on that, on that side, but... Uh, 
yeah, definitely these are quite good right now. Um, I'm going to keep in both chants just so we can hopefully cast the Ballad of Evasion fairly consistently. Um, I honestly think the deck is looking fine. Um, oh, yeah, we did want to swap this to the version that adds Mark uh, for sure. Um, yeah, I think this is okay. We get uh, pretty close to three extra draws a turn. We have uh, five ranged attacks in the deck. Um, and uh, maybe six with Ambidextrous. So um, we get pretty close to drawing that many extra each turn. Um, okay, so let's upgrade a Dispel Magic, the Expected Prophecy. Um, I think we can remove some of these Healing Rains now that we're out of the Fire Act. Um, there, I, I think it's fine keeping a couple, like, I keep keeping one. It does proc his, um chosen one later later on and so I think it's uh, usually worth taking um, another thing that I'm going to grab here is an anthem of hope um, and then switch it to this version I think the, just having these here to give the rest of the team extra draw I think is incredibly good um, I think that'll be really helpful and then, okay, looking at Heiner's deck, it is sort of a mess at the moment. <laughs> I don't really know what he's doing. Um, okay, there is a question. How much draw do we have? We have a, a bluff. Um, not really any other draw that, or not really much other draw that he's doing outside of the beginning of his turn. So, I think these being the one-cost versions make sense. Um, the, the extra, like, reinforced and a little bit of extra block, I think, is uh, better than occasionally having to pay one more uh, energy for it. Um, let's see. How much is... So, an entrench is fairly expensive... I'm wondering, so I love Battle Shout, and I want to take one. Um, I don't know how my, how the energy is going to work. I guess we do have a Blood Rage, so yeah, I'm going to take a Battle Shout for Heiner. Um, I think that'll be pretty good. I'm going to remove these Intercepts. Um, I'll remove the steel skin we have enough repair armors and the battle shout to give the reinforce so the steel skin i think we can do without um the demolishing blow i think can go it hasn't been amazing i think there's i think there are just other things especially with the battle shout in his deck now um that i and like a coat of arms it's a bit more expensive i think those are things that i'd rather have him casting um, I don't mind keeping a guard in the deck. Um, just occasionally you'll get your um, Fortify purged or something like that, and it's nice to have it. Entrench now costs a ton to upgrade. Um, I think you used to be able to get this upgrade for like 500 or so, and now it's like a... Oh, wherever it is. E? I guess I could type... But we're here, yeah, now it's 900, so I don't think Entrench is all that impressive just because um, of, of the cost restriction. Um, so we'll skip out on that for now. I do think maybe getting the Shackle remove on the Helping Hand will be nice. Um, we could also make spike shield cost one which could help out with his energy issues um but maybe he's got those covered at the moment i think prismatic field upgrade is going to be good 
I think just having it burn is going to be better than most stuff, in, at least in this act. I think maybe in the final act we swap it over. Um, we'll have more fights that last oh, past four turns. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we're in a pretty good place. Um, I guess the one other card... We can add maybe one more damage card to Nez's deck. Um, and I think the best one is going to be a Vile Gas. Um, we do not have the resources to upgrade it. I don't think it's... I don't think I need to do any divinations or anything for that. So, we'll just leave it unupgraded. Um, and then I think we'll add... Hmm. I think I'll add one more Detoxify to the deck. Um, it would have been nice to have this upgraded. Maybe I should have uh, saved some shards to do that uh, for this act in particular. There's just a lot of fights that have poison and whatnot. But we do have the two Dispels, um, and uh, so hopefully those will help us uh, help us through. Um, okay. Uh, I think this is a good setup to go on to the next act. Um, let's see how we do. Um, and I am going to take this route down. I do think it's just the, be like the best one. You get to get an item shop here, an item shop here, um, come across the bridge, and then do some, do some stuff down here. Um, yeah, I think that's just going to be, going to be best. Okay, so, um, who do we want to target here? I think it's probably best on Evelyn. Um, something like that looks good. Ooh, ambidextrousing a ricochet seems pretty sweet. Okay. Don't mind if I do. That was a ton of damage for turn one. 150. Okay. So, not the best first hand. But, oh wow, that guy's immune to chill. That's annoying. Um, one thing to remember if you're playing a run like this, if you have multiple cold snaps, it's never that bad to discard one because uh, you can always draw your second one and cold snap the cold snap that's in your yard, in your uh, discard pile. And uh, that is quite effective at uh, helping you find the, the cards you need. And, like setting up for, for a big turn. Okay. Um I mean this looks fine. Okay. interesting that he uh he did cast quite a few cards but none of them were the heat laser the steel forge the bluff um none of those were defense cards <laughs> so he didn't end up with all that much uh, thorns at that turn but now turn two he's up to 33 <laughs> pretty nice oh yeah i forgot that this guy eats his thorns oh well not a big issue Okay, give everyone some draw. Awesome, awesome. Okay, he's got a magic mushroom, so let's get that out of there. Um, probably doesn't need his guard this this fight. And sure, there we go. 
Ooh, we made the uh, the mosquito visible there. Not uh, too bad. Okay, so let's let's get going. I think we are going to let's see. So this is. Okay, well, that kills basically the back line. So I guess I do that. So maybe I didn't need to cold snap that turn. I could have maybe waited a, a turn for that, but... of cheap a lot of cheap uh, defend cards I would say this has been a pretty effective turn for Evelyn. She's done a thousand damage this fight. No problem, no problem. Even though I didn't mean to, or didn't intentionally cast that. Okay. And he dies to the poison. I'd say that was a pretty effective act or first uh, fight of the act. Wow, they keep tempting us with never ending story. Um, I don't think that's where he's at right now, so let's, uh, skip over that. Hmm, shifting, shifting scroll. It's not great, but with cold snaps, I guess it's better since the discarded cards are, the discarded spells are better. So maybe I will grab this and see how it goes. Okay, we'll take some stuff that we find valuable, which is not much of anything. Okay, and then we get to fight both of these. I had a run recently ending this fight, so let's hope we can uh, we can get past them this time. Um. I guess I should have targeted uh, this uh, stalker. In fact, I'm going to... Oh, hmm. So I have one draw. And that costs one energy. So let's do this. And we can... Make sure he can't go invis. Okay. 
do fight, feel like that's how I die quite a lot in this fight, is the Stalker combines with an Erwin turn that then deals just a ridiculous amount of AoE damage. Okay, so this is actually gonna... this shifting scroll is gonna be pretty sweet, I think. Okay, um, I guess... I guess I want to cast this twice. Rather than the Icicle twice. And we toss out a bunch of Icicles. Okay, so we have 66 chill, so if we can... Um... If we can uh, get a Frost Nova off, that would be pretty awesome. Okay, um... Hmm. We don't have any way to keep the block on our allies, so I think I'm just going to... Huh. So, this is 50% damage reduction for one turn. This is like 30% for a few turns, I guess. Hmm. Guess this does also heal for five and give powerful. Um, I think this is probably the turn I'm this most scared of, and so having them dealing a chunk less damage in the, on this turn seems quite good. Okay. Okay, so... Let's see what we can do here. Oh. Okay. Ooh, shield breaker is pretty annoying. Definitely don't enjoy that. Okay, Evelyn, how much uh, damage are you going to do? Is this going to be the whole team dead? <laughs> it may be. This is quite a nice hand. Okay, do do do. Let her combo off and nearly end the fight. Man, it is going to be pretty hard for anyone else to compete with her <laughs> damage. I was like, oh yeah, we can do a video where I talk about uh, Andrin carrying and doing cool stuff. And then it's just like Evelyn murders people. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll make it work. I mean, he's dealing chunks of damage there. Can't quite compare to Evelyn. <laughs> um, okay, ammunitions. Eh. I guess this does go to your head. I don't know. 
Thunder Bait's kind of cool. Let's see, Corrupted First Aid. Um, Dispel Bleed, Heal 13. Eh. I'd rather I'm just uh, play a block card most of the time. Do I ever want a Rain of Arrows? I guess that comes down to how much energy I think I'm ever going to have. <laughs> Ambidextrous seeing a rain of arrows, though, does sound pretty sweet. So, <laughs> I'm going to take it. Okay, so Berserker's Claws are kind of meh. Not not quite what we want here. Um, so I don't think Heiner wants any of this. Evelyn, I think, will pass. The extra charge, frost charge, is definitely better there. We want the rusty armor on Nez, and then Andrin definitely doesn't want any of these, and I think... I think the uh, lava crystal is going to be better than the primal necklace. So, um, that was just for some extra points. Even though I don't care much about points, and might as well. That takes zero effort to get the extra points, so might as well take them. <gasps> no. The Reign of Arrows. Um, hmm. I wonder. Can we find... I guess we can leave this here. Can we find the Ambidextrous? That would be cool. <gasps> oh, you get one more shot at it. Oh, you get one more shot at it. Oh, sad day. That would have been nice. Could have played a Reign of Arrows there for three. Would have been pretty sweet. Okay, Shifting Scroll. Let's get an Ice Lance. Not the best. It's kind of sad to have both our Cold Snaps here. Definitely would have liked those later in the fight. Or at least once we'd cast at least one Frost Nova is the big thing. Okay. <laughs> also, for anyone listening at the moment, um, I'm currently uh, rereading Stormlight Archive. I'm on uh, nearing the end of book two. Um, and I'm also... I guess I'm listening to Stormlight Archive um, as I, like, drive around and stuff. And I'm reading the... Oh, what is it? The... Some of... It's one of the... Oh, my gosh. I'm so bad with names. Uh... Oh, I don't have it here with me. Um, I'm reading the... F Oh yeah, the first law trilogy, uh, one of the books that uh, make up the sort of, uh, or one of the standalone books. I'm reading the first one of those right now, um, the hard copy. Um, but I am always looking for new um, suggestions. So if anyone has book suggestions, definitely let me know and share. Uh, send a me or add, a, add a message with your suggestion. Always looking for stuff to add to my list. Uh, 
the the first law books are just amazing. They're so fun. Um, okay, definitely want to battle shout to get the the reinforce out there. Let's give Nez some extra draw. Okay, we don't need the extra mana. We have plenty of that at the moment. Okay, keep casting these. Probably don't need the vile gas at the moment. Eh, we'll leave it like that. Give the whole team two extra draw next turn. It'll be pretty nice. Okay, so the one scary thing is Heiner not having any block here. There is a whirlwind coming, so. If we could somehow speed boost Heiner, that would be quite nice. Okay, we did find the speed boost. We also have a pretty sweet hand here. Let's uh, get a two cost uh, rain of arrows. Ooh. <laughs> Not the most damage. <laughs> okay, we're uh, instead casting the other Rain of Arrows. Let's gain some evasion so we don't die here. I think uh, not dying is on my list of things to do, so... Okay, we should be pretty safe for this. I don't think we're... Gonna take. Uh, oh, yeah, we even had the evasion, so it didn't even really matter. Okay. 22. I guess I'll just do it on my. Use it on myself. Alright. Oh, no. We still have a bunch of frost weapons, so. Okay, so I need to. So this is 6, 7, 8. So maybe I go like maybe I cast this and use all these and then one of that and then Well, um, okay. And we can give uh, Nez some frost weapons to hit them. They have quite low frost resist between the two of them. And there we go. Okay, oh, uh, fortune telling is actually pretty sick. Let's grab that. Um, poison spray. It's okay, but I think we have enough of the ranged attacks going on right now. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, skip out on that. Let's open the cocoons. Oh, interesting. So we do have a breastplate, which is probably worth it on someone. Um, Bloodstone's interesting. I'm wondering if uh, there's ever a way to use this on Heiner. His health blow is so big that like 
getting a 2% heal every time he applies bleed would be kind of cool. I just don't know that there's any way to effectively utilize it unless there, I'm like <laughs> basically using it to heal him with blood rage, at which point like the reforge core is probably still just better. Um, so let's just skip that. I will take I will take the lapis necklace on on uh, um, Evelyn here. I think it's pretty good on her. Um, getting the the extra speed. There are so many good rings for Nez that I just I don't want to put uh, something I'm just gonna replace pretty soon on him. Um, I could get a rejuvenation potion. Maybe that's a thing at some point. It's probably worth it over just the spyglass. And then I think I just take the breastplate on Andrin. Having the the pretty huge... I mean, you look at his resist now, and he's at like 40% for most everything, 50 for a lot of stuff, um, which uh, really helps out. Currently, Evelyn's the only one with uh, sort of pretty, pretty low resists at the moment. Okay... So the Tempest, I think, has been pretty effective. Even though it's like he's not dealing a ton of damage um, with uh, with attacks and whatnot. He's like doing a pretty decent chunk. And it's just helping him draw into the stuff he wants um, and needs. Man, these have been some pretty bad opening hands for Evelyn these last couple of fights. He definitely... Uh, could be doing better. Okay, getting this slow off Heiner I think is a good idea. Oh, let's see, let me get my dog. Zoos some treats. Oh, there you go. Good boy. Okay. So let's use both of these. I think that'll be pretty effective. the kind of hands that uh, I'm hoping to see early on in the fight. Um, I usually go after the spider first. Um, it uh, adds hatches to the deck, which are kind of annoying. Um, you can go after these uh, mutants first. They do heal and whatnot, but I find that like their heals aren't all that important. And uh, you can usually do just fine by when getting rid of those. Um... Sure. I guess <laughs> I'm just sort of uh, making random actions. This fight is quite over once uh, Evelyn just draws her next shatter. So, sort of just taking random game actions at the moment. Oh, man, if I had one more energy, 
I could shadow step Rain of Arrows. But unfortunately, I do not. Sure, we can get rid of those. Just look for the shatter. Okay. Nice fight. Ooh. Garden of Thorns is so good with uh, this setup because um, basically each time you share your thorns, um, it gets all your thorns bonuses on everyone. So you split it between everyone, but then it adds uh, a thorns from here, a thorns from here, a thorns from his, uh, his shield on top of what it already gives. So you're sort of increasing the total amount of thorns when you split. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think it ends up being pretty good. Um, Smoke Bomb is an interesting card. Winter's Night... Eh. I think it sort of just, uh, messes up with, uh, what we're trying to do. And the Smoke Bomb... Smoke Bomb's interesting, because sometimes Andrin, like... I think it's decent because Andrew often is the first person in the fight to, to go, and then the rest of this team is uber slow and will go later. Currently, Evelyn's pretty quick with a Lapis Necklace and a Brigand Armor, so currently I don't know that it's great. Um, okay, Last Guardian is insane. I tried Fusion Laser a little while back. Did not like it. It didn't seem to do very much. Arcane Conduit is amazing. Um, oh, did they nerf it? Is that six uses? I can't even... My eyes are not good enough. That is six uses. Wasn't it eight before? I don't know. Maybe they did nerf it, but uh, I still think it's uh, better than this. It just, like, you draw it in your first set of uh, cards, and you just, like, end the fight because you draw through your whole deck. Um... I think the same with Chosen One. It adds such an insane amount of uh, uh, sight and insa uh, insanity and also vulnerable to the enemies. It's just a very sweet card. Um, and I think Serrated Weapons is pretty cool. Um, it does... Uh, uh, so it adds a sharp with each, with each hit, like damage with hit. And so if you ever cast a... Um, like a Rain of Arrows or something, or even a Ricochet, it gives you, uh, like, two sharp per hit of that, and that's often then, like, something like 20 sharp just immediately. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's draw. We can see about focusing this Pendulum. Okay, I am. I do want to ricochet, but I'm gonna instead cast the chant. Um, these guys can sometimes just bash away armor, so I'm going to not use it on Heiner and just uh, speed up Evelyn. Okay, I don't mind just putting a cold snap in the. In the discard. It is a... Oh, I probably shouldn't have cast that uh, Frost Movement now that I think about it. So maybe I should have gotten... I probably should have gotten the Icicle and discarded the, the Frost Nova. Since I didn't have any chill on me. Okay. I think I do just want the extra block on Heiner at the moment. Okay, my dog Zeus wanted to come up into my lap, so he's he's up here right now. So if you hear him uh, making any noise, you know what's up. Okay. So unfortunately, so Chosen One, let's see actually, we have one, two, three, 
four or five. Uh, I guess we do have five uh, spells in the entire in in the deck. So okay, let's take the amnesia out of uh, Evelyn's deck. Oh, I guess that's a heal too. So there's one more that I hadn't accounted for. Or that, yeah, healing spell. Okay, here we go. Um. So what's gonna be best? There's, I can. Frost Nova, Cold Snap. That's four. Or I can just Icicle Barrage. Frost Nova. Man, I do wish I had a way to discard the Shatter, because then I could Cold Snap. And, uh... Yeah. Hmm. Um... Oh, we missed out on the Mana Gem. Um... Yeah, this would be a much better turn if I hadn't cast the, uh... Frost Nova last turn, so that's something to think about for the future. Just if you don't, if I'm not like adding chill, then uh, definitely save the the energy. So Icicle Barrage gives me something like uh, four times six right now. Is that what how much it gives? Yeah. So 24 chill to myself added. Um, hmm. I guess I can. Yeah, this is. Oh, this is definitely it. Yeah. So we icicle barrage. We do this. We grab a cold snap and an icicle barrage. Yeah, it's been a while since I've. Uh, played Evelyn like this, so bear with me while I remember the, the different lines you can take. But that should do quite well. Okay, we will just uh, copy a Bane. And then double bane this. Uh, oh well, attempt to double bane the spellbinder. Uh, get rid of an amnesia. The rest of these are fine, I think. Oh, I probably should have gotten rid of spike shield actually. Oh well. Uh, steel forge, sweet. Um. So this guy's just gonna bash away his shield, so it's not super effective to be gaining those, but uh, splitting our thorns up will make uh, this spellbinder take quite a bit of damage when she does end up attacking. Ooh, 75, that's quite a lot. Those are fine. Okay. 53 thorns in. Nice job, Heiner. You're doing you're doing your job. Don't let anyone bring you down. Oh, we did find the serrated weapons. Okay. Sure. <laughs> the uh, vile gas will get much better once we uh, are. 
using uh, the Spider Queen Eye. Okay, um... Ah, uh, she's at minus 36. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Now, it is interesting that uh, Heiner's doing this thorns thing, because if he were attacking just with uh, a bunch of bluffs and stuff, he would be dealing so much damage. Because uh, of all the, the, the crack that's out there. Um... Okay, 34 mark on the raider. Not bad, not bad. Well, Zeus is uh, wondering what this uh, mic is up here. <laughs> Sniffing around. Let's see here. Um, there we go. Evelyn just wants to be a healer. <laughs> she did take away a buffer so that Diner was disarmed this turn, but uh, he'll be fine. Okay, okay, not bad, Andrin. Not bad. Ooh, the one the one uh, attack in his deck. It's kinda nice that Garden of Thorns also is zero cost with his uh um defense. Card reduction. Okay, and there we go, ending the fight. On evocation, corrupted. Wow, that's a good card. A torment of thorns. I mean, yeah, why not? That seems fine. Um, a circle of healing. I don't hate circle of healing. There have been runs where it's just like a card I want to cast occasionally. And the nice thing about Nez's deck is like, if you have draw it and he can't cast it or he doesn't want to, he just like doesn't need to. Um, I guess I do have these two Anthem of Hopes, which are costing mana each time through the deck. Um, costing energy, so I'm not sure. Uh, if I find an upgraded one, Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll take it, but I think for now we can we can avoid that. Okay, let's see. It is their fault for leading, leaving their village unattended. We are no thieves. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's dole out some mark, shall we? <laughs> See, this is the kind of hand I love to start with. Okay, and then I think... Oh, this is a great opening hand. So apply 77 chill. No problem. OK, 
Okay, we still have a resourceful stack and sure. They actually used all of our stacks of the chosen one that turn. I don't know how common that'll be this run, but happened this turn. Okay, so let's draw some cards, get a free ice shot. Shoot down some mosquitoes. <laughs> That's quite a lot of damage. I guess they could have, uh, oh, that doesn't, it just doesn't actually, it just adds, uh, fortified charges, so. Doesn't add extra block for each card. So, I guess we'll just, uh, hit the guy at the most health. Oh, I missed out on a bit of damage. Arcane Conduit. Why, thank you. And there we go. <laughs> Quite a nice fight. Ooh, another Shatter. Love it. Um, I'll take another Deflect for now. I don't mind Bluff. Just because of the shatter shenanigans that are going on. Um, I guess it's... Uh, this is not really what he's doing. Can we get seven or higher? What is our percentage? 12%. Critical failure. We needed a one cost or more from Menez. So he did break our legs, but uh, this is actually a pretty easy one to do, to remove the cart, so let's uh, get these broken bones out of here. Uh, we do have our first uh, level three guy. Oh, wait, is there were some in Act 2, I think, actually. Were there? I don't remember. Maybe I'm thinking of a different run. Lancelot's kind of scary, though. Kind of a weird opening hand here. Here, let's see if we can set up Evelyn for victory. Uh, mm. I think this, this maybe is the best setup. I uh, maybe keeping both cold snaps is better. Yeah, maybe keeping cold, both cold snaps is better. Not sure. I could have counted her deck and seen. Oh, that was not bad. Okay, well we did find a frost nova here, so. Um. Oh wait. Well. Yeah, I guess it doesn't actually add any chill with its first cast, so this is. This is the best way to do it. Okay, now that we have at least some chill to... Oh, this guy's immune to chill. <gasps> Andrian, it's your time to shine. <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. I guess not the best uh, opening hand.
Oof. Ooh, a nice draw there. Can do a ch use a chosen one. Um, looks like we only get one proc out of it this turn in particular with the vile gas. Um, even though this isn't dealing much damage, we want, definitely want to use it to just get the proc. Um, not a fight where we need to uh, uh, insulate or very much insulate. Um, probably don't. Probably something like that. I guess we do have the evocation, so. Getting rid of all of the thorns is kind of nice. No more detections. I'm going invisible for you. Okay, Evelyn did take a chunk of uh, bleed and poison there. Hopefully uh, Nez can help her out next turn. Okay, this is interesting. This guy does deal damage, I think, based off thorns and stuff. So I'm like, not 100% sure he should be doing Garden of Thorns, but uh, I'm committed. <laughs> There's no turning back at this point. Ooh, there goes my Icicle Barrage. Don't love that. Okay, fully heal everyone. <laughs> nice job, Nez. Oh, he's so good. Um, okay, Toxic Rain, Toxic Rain, get some sharp going. That is a bunch of damage. Um, we have... I guess we can do this first. Not bad, Andrin. Not bad. We got some good potential here. Ow. Okay, I think Nez can fully heal us, so let's just, oh, I should have cast Battle Shot, I don't know why I didn't. So I guess this is the question, do we want to get a great performance bonus or heal up everyone? Um, I think healing everyone is going to be better in general. Well, actually, we are with the Corrupted Event. I don't know how that affects cards choices, but maybe it's, maybe it's something good. Yeah. Nothing really great. Sometimes, depending on the items you get, um, spectral missiles can be good. Don't think it is now. Do I want another Blood Rage? He does seem to be able to cast most of the cards he draws, so I 
think we don't need it. Hmm. I guess he, I don't know. There's always, there's always a chance that he ends up uh, wanting it in the future. <laughs> this is such an annoying fight with Colin and another Stormbringer. This would probably kill us. I do like Last Reward. Um, the one I actually like a lot is this one, the, uh, the yellow version. Because you can um, get back uh, things like Ambidextrous or Wild Hunt or Serrated Weapons. Um, that's pretty cool, but uh, uh, this would kill us, I think. So, <laughs> I think there's like a chance that we could do it, but like, I think there's a much larger chance that we just die on turn one. So, like right here, we like would maybe be dead. So, we would have had a full arsenal of uh, vulnerable before he they did all that stuff. So. Okay, so this is uh, going to show some good use of Arcane Conduit, I do think. I um, guess we grab an Icicle and discard the Frost Nova. And then do some of these. Um, is it better to Prismatic Field or Frost Nova? How... I mean, we are so slow. I don't think this is slowing them enough, so... Let's, uh, do that and hope that Evelyn can survive? Okay. Not the best turn one there, Nezzy boy. Um, yikes. We have a lot of, uh, lot of issues going on here. Mainly the fact that we are going to die. <laughs> Oh, uh, Colin is so annoying. Can we... Okay, Steel Forge is still holding strong. Oh, no. Okay, looks like we are okay. This guy is saving us from all the wet, <laughs> fortunately. Ouch, electric pulses are very annoying. Okay. Okay, get Colin out of here, because that guy is a jerk. Sheesh. Okay, Nez, can we have a better turn than last one? Oh, it does not look like it. Um, yikes, this is uh, quite annoying. Okay, does anyone have their uh, electric discharges? I guess Andrin does. Well, he's not gonna draw it there. Ooh, that was not much healing. Ooh. 
Okay. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, chosen one. And give everyone some draw, get rid of the poison. Okay, looks like we've managed to make it through this fight. Not without worry though, this fight is, uh, is a doozy. I've died a lot of times to the call in Stormbringer uh, setups and uh, yeah, you, do, you definitely need good decks to, to get through it. Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> Betty ends the fight. She has no time for your nonsense. Okay, um... Don't think I need that. I kind of want to wish Cauterize did uh, it healed for both burn and bleed with the corrupted version. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, Holy Fire is only really good if you get a Scryer's Staff, which we do not have at the moment. Do I want a setup? Zero cost setup? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably not. Slimes on the bridge, huh? Okay, do don't let Andrin uh don't let Andrin eat those eggs. They are not not good for him. <laughs> okay, serrated weapons this is a pretty nice start. Okay, let's go Invis for next turn. Okay. Do some shifting scrolls, discard a Frost Nova. Grab both the Frost Novas back. And stack up a decent chunk of chill. Uh, sure. It does seem like it splits the thorns first before he gets his thorns from the torment of th or from not torment of thorns from the shield of thorns, which is interesting. I was unsure of how that would uh, behave. Ooh, we get a two cost rain of arrows. I like it. That was quite good. I'm very happy I took that Reign of Arrows. It's pretty sweet. We have Fortify forever. Three, three turns of it. Snap. 
Wait, does she only have one energy? Okay, I guess an icicle's better then. They're very cold. Very burr. Okay. So I managed to heal back up to full in this fight. I think this is the last one before the Spider Queen fight. So it's nice to go into that fight full health. Uh, it's not super dangerous, but uh, I have had issues there occasionally. And so we never want to take it lightly. There definitely can be... Uh, problems that come up. No, Amnesia, we hate you. an evasion that's lame how much did he take oh he blocked all the thorns damage lame it's very low piercing resist pew 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 114 nice nice Ooh, another ambidextrous yeah, I'm down. We draw our weapons and get in there. Oh, I should have targeted the herder, actually. Mm, and I uh, did this on Heiner just because this fight you definitely want to find your heat laser ASAP. Uh, you want to be taunting when she um, does her stuff. So let's see. So we do want the icicle barrage. Let's get rid of the shatter. Okay, and we get the taunt going, which is nice. Use up all our Tempest charges and oh, attempt to speed boost an <laughs> Evelyn up to, to a good speed. 
failed miserably. Oh wow, she has, with the reinforce, she gets uh, quite a lot of uh, resist, doesn't she? See if uh, Nez can't uh, dispel Evelyn enough to get her out of there. Okay, well, we didn't find the dispel, but I mean, this, this turn is a. Uh... Or we didn't find the second dispel. This turn has been fine, really. Sure, we'll do more inspire, everyone. Okay, quite a lot of poison going around here, but uh, not a ton we can do about that. Okay, Evelyn is unfrozen, unparalyzed. Okay. The ambidextrouses can be quite poor. We draw them in the wrong order. Man, this fight has uh, just continued to, to, to <laughs> continued on. No end in sight. Ooh, there we go. One down. Yell in pure joy. Oh, I forgot about the uh, cycling the deck. I see, I see. Okay, we'll just do another one of those. Why not? And then refresh our cold stacks. Ooh. Not a bad fight. Um, he is gaining uh, sharp quite quickly, so I don't think we need any of this. I will take a recurring nightmares. Um, I think the card is just quite good when you uh, 
are using where is it oh, it's yawning uh, when you're using enchant weapons I don't want to clog my deck with uh, innervates and stuff like the if you get too many of those then you don't draw your expected prophecies or dispel magics or anthem of hopes as often and uh, I think your it uh, your deck goes down in value a chunk okay so we do ah, this is still more resist that's crazy um, we do have a sapphire ring here um, so Evelyn is for sure take or sorry Nezgog is for sure taking the Spider Queen Eye. Um, the Diamond Ring. It could be better for Heiner. I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe not. The Sapphire Ring could be nice. Trying to think of who maybe I mean Andrin could maybe take the sapphire ring and, and be pretty happy about it. The lava crystal's pretty cool though. Getting four uh powerful every turn is pretty cool. Yeah, okay. In, in that case I will I'll take the sapphire ring on Heiner. It's still only losing two resist, and you the the two energy at the beginning is gonna be really nice. I could take a diamond ring just to help out Evelyn's, uh, but I think in Act 4, the speed is quite useful. So I'm going to leave it there. And then, yeah. Spider Queen Eye here. And I guess nothing for Andrin, which is fine. This is a pretty effective uh, spider nest. Um, wasn't uh, anything too crazy going on. Armageddon is like an insane event. I mean, I have I have beaten it on Act uh, or Madness 16, um, but it does take a very good early turn from um, from Evelyn, and uh, I'm not sure I just, I want to risk it with uh, everything that's going on here. Okay. Okay, good thing I uh, drew first, since we now get to proc uh, this three times in a row, which is awesome. See the poison already stacking up. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, Ariel is now going to be doing her, like, sonar thing, so... Don't know that we can kill her at this point, or else we might die. But uh, looks to be we are exploding here, so. Oh, we uh, all my chill had been blocked. Oh, okay, well, that's a useless thing. Okay. Let's 
see what we can get ourselves up to with Andrin's turn. Okay, so serrated weapons and then one of these. Oh, I hope Evelyn doesn't die here. That would be unfortunate. Ooh, is she dead? Oh, okay, not dead. Not dead. Okay, we shocked her a little bit, but not too much. Okay, 11 mark might be a bit excessive there. Okay, only healing for 26 is kind of scary. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, we didn't find, or we weren't able to use the evasion this turn. Okay, oh, that is a lot of mark and crack to get rid of. I will take advantage of that. Okay. Okay, not too bad of a fight. I'm getting pretty tired here, if you can't tell. So <laughs> I am um, probably rambling a little bit. But this fight is definitely over. Okay, ping, ping, ping. And do a nice clean 65. Okay, I've got enough mana or energy. Do I want a fourth Hunter's Mark? I think the three are good enough for now. And we do have a, quite a lot of gold going to Act 4, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think any of the debuffs really matter. We're just going to die to chill and um, poison damage and maybe a couple of other, who knows what else. But uh, I don't think the resistances are going to matter all that much. Okay, so we have a taunting serpent here so no matter what I do it's just gonna be there don't uh, have many choices okay there we go oh nice 69 on everyone
Okay. Um, I don't know. I th This fight never really feels all that scary. Um, we have taken a chunk of damage, so maybe I am wrong and I should be more worried about it. But uh, so far, it has not been all that exciting. Um, I guess I don't have the big one, so... Okay. Okay. Do a nice AD damage. Okay, we finally get the taunt going, which will be nice. Allow some extra time in the building. I'm just, I'm just spouting nonsense at this point. <laughs> I'm very tired right now. It has been a long week at work, so. Okay, so we've used up all our resourceful. Let's just heal Evelyn. She's the lowest at the moment. Okay, we even get to get some evasion here. Um, the Rain of Arrows is in here, but uh, let's just take the Ricochet. Okay, Heiner, you do have quite a lot of poison on you, and now you're stacking up the spark. So maybe we can uh, do something to do. No, no, you're just going to play a bunch of block cards and be <laughs> call it a day. Like your normal, normal daily life. Nice, nice. <gasps> no, I got rid of the chill. What am I doing? That's a very important. Okay. Do 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 do. <laughs> Let's see. Ambidextrous, this ricochet. Let's uh, throw some ricochets about. What do you think people? Uh, you think Evelyn or Andrin has dealt have dealt more damage this fight? I think Andrin may have dealt more damage until I mean this turn might be might change it up. Ooh, Andrin's close though. 10,000 or a thousand versus 
Okay, let's do another one of those, and another one of those, and call it a day. Okay. Okay, does he live past 168 poison? No, no, he does not. Okay, uh, we got the excellent bonus, and uh, yeah, we're doing pretty well. I'm gonna say no to the third upgraded never a new story. Uh, at some point, maybe those would have been good. Um, now is not the time, though. Um, Enervate. Mm. I'm gonna skip on that. Don't feel like I need it. I will, however, take a shield wall. Oh, there's a provoke here. Provoke's just pretty nice. Um. Shield wall's kind of cool, though. I'll, I'll grab that. Oh, wow. There's a lot of bleed charges. Um, so, every two turns gain one sh or two sharp. Or every turn gain two sharp. I think he just wants an endless bag. I think that's sweet for him. Um, for Heiner, hmm. Shackles of War is interesting. Greater Mana Potion is also interesting. I guess I could take Greater Mana Potion on Andrin. Maybe that's the play. Greater Mana Potion on Andrin, Endless Bag on Heiner. This bag is pretty cool to line up the ambidextrouses, so yeah, let's do that on, on uh, Andrin. And then that means for Heiner, does he want a greater mana potion? Um, I think probably not. Though a Hydra Egg is kind of cool. Makes him immune to poison. There's some, like, ridiculous poison stuff in Act 4, so I'm going to do that just to be, like, peace of mind. Um, uh, we can't get rid of Cooling Servos. It's just too good for Evelyn's build. Um, Spider Queen Eye is awesome, so can't get rid of that. Um... And we'll grab an endless bag for Andrin. And into Act 4. Um, I'm going to go to bed. It's getting pretty late. Um, so I will be back with Act 4. Let's take a look at the shop. See what goodies we've got. Um, there's an Assassin's Tools. Not great. Um, Andrin is uh, not going invis all that much. So... Um, I will be back to finish off this act, though, and uh, yeah, I'll see you then.